Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, can everyone hear us? So, for those who don't, who don't know me, I'm Thiago, I'm Luz Studios Community Manager, and with me today I have Marcia and Alvaro, our resident painter and our art director. Uh, could you guys introduce yourselves? Just so you can check the audio. Hey guys, can you hear me? How are you doing? Hi guys, how are you? Let me check here. Yeah, I hope like you guys let us know if there are any issues with the audio and we'll fix it. So today we we are we have just released our second sci-fi bundle for 2022. And I hope everyone's ex as excited ex 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 sorry. I hope everyone's as excited as I am about uh, this bundle, uh, Spacecraft Crasher. Ooh, just a second here, I think we are catching some some stuff from Avro here that we should maybe... No, everything's fine. Okay, so we, we have just released our newest sci-fi bundle. And this is weird, I can't see chat. What is happening with chat here? I'll probably figure it out. Just a second, everyone, as I figure out what's happening with chat here. Just so I can have some, some feedback from you guys. So today, Marcia is going to be painting the, the Petaloid Scientist, which is one of our, who I'm not gonna say hero, she's one of our characters for this bundle, uh, she's the, uh, and yeah, we're gonna get to talking a little bit more about her in a little bit. Uh, and Alvaro is gonna be sculpting something a, a little bit extra here. Just a second. Okay, so we are back. Sorry about that. We are solving a, a couple of, of little, little issues here. Uh, a couple of, uh, of little uh, issues with the, the overlay and the audio and stuff like that. But if you guys can all hear us, yeah, let's, let's get going with the, the live stream. Okay, I think we are all good to go now. So as I was saying, Marcia is going to be painting the, the Petaloid Scientist and Alvaro is going to be to be sculpting a bit of a... If you've, if you've seen uh, Alien Resurrections, the, the, probably the worst alien movie until they made some worst alien movies. Uh, you may remember a, a particular scene or tower or something like this. So we have the we have our osteotron, our our uh, this would be the the proto osteotron, right, or the juvenile osteotron actually, and we have a, a test tube for it. And our is gonna is gonna be sculpting uh, a version that you guys can printing like a bit of a larger size, maybe use it as a as a decoration or, or as a a bit of a prop. Uh, so that you guys can, you know, have it on your table. Uh, fill the, the test tube with, with water or like mineral oil or whatever. And just have it as a, as a decoration. Yes, a specimen tank. Yeah, the, the alien, the, I think alien resurrection, 
uh, despite not being a, a very good movie, I remember that pers particular specimen tank scene very clearly. So, okay, let's get going, because we have a lot of minis in this model and I have a lot of cool, cool stuff to show. Uh, I I'm going to apologize in advance if at any moment I stop to, to cough a little bit. Uh, I'm having a little bit of a... My bronchitis is, is acting up, so don't worry. I don't have COVID or anything. It's just, uh, it's just a, a little bit of a, 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 I'm a little bit under the weather. Okay, so let's start off with our first character for the bundle. And in this bundle, Spacecraft Crasher, we kind of divided up the, the miniatures in a little bit of a different way. Uh, so instead of having like heroes and, and, and enemies, we just, we kind of have characters. We have the crew characters and we have the, the alien characters, right? Uh, it's something that we, we did to, to great success with, uh, some of our fantasy bundles as well. So we did this with, uh, or, or, uh, we did this with our fantasy bundle, uh, Pensha Under Siege, and we did this with our, uh, December 2021 uh, sci-fi bundle, the, the, Re the Rebel Strike Back. Uh, so it's a little bit of a, a, it's just a little bit of a different way of looking at the, the bundles. We're still going to have like three to four busts every month. You don't need to worry about that. We're still going to have uh, characters that you can use as player characters or as hero. And they're going to get just as much love. It's just a little bit of a, a different way of interpreting the bundles. So first up, who I should not have shown that. Uh, so first up, we have Major Williams, and Major Williams is like the the classic uh, like space marine, right? Uh, so we're gonna start off with the humans, and then we're gonna move on to the the fun stuff, right? And as we progress, things are gonna get kind of crazy. But Major Williams is kind of like your your typical, I would say. Uh, Space Marine, like the the jarhead type, uh, he has a uh, has a mind for for strategy and uh, uh, like military strategy, and he's a no nonsense kind of guy, and I think the uh, it it was and let me prepare for the transition here, and I think we have a beautiful sculpt here, and this one by Diogo Colaris. And you can see like all the little the little details. Uh, you guys have been asking us for a while for more for more space soldiers that you can use as proxies for uh, for a bunch of different stuff. Uh, it's not just uh, really really useful to play uh, some uh, like a couple of Starfinder classes, but it's also really really useful if you want to to, to do an army, right? Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's, it's really, really useful if you want to do one army. And uh, I, I think we've done like a couple of different styles of space armor so far. This one is, uh, it's, you know, it's a little bit less, uh, less, less Star Wars than or the ones we did for, for the Rebel Strike Back. But it, but it feels very, very like really grounded, right? It feels like space armor that you could see some someone using in a movie like uh, like Aliens, for instance, which is kind of a... The Alien universe is, it's, I'm not gonna say realistic, but it's kind of grounded and it's based on that like 70s and 80s uh, technology that, ki that kind of stagnated, that has spaceships, but they still have like the... I think the the CRT uh, screens, right? The 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 screen, the black screens with the the green text, and you know, it's it's all very very retro futuristic uh, aesthetic, uh, but it everything feels grounded and kind of greedy and rustic, and uh, and yeah, Major Williams fits right in there. Uh, you can see, I, I think there's, uh, there's a couple of hints in the armor there, of, you know, a couple of, uh, like, breeder tubes, stuff like that. Uh, the, the grenade on the, on the belt, the, his pistol, his, his armor. And I think, 
yeah i think this one you guys are gonna are gonna notice uh this one has like proper he's ex executing proper firearm safety protocols like finger off the trigger it's not pointing the gun at anyone so i think a couple of people in the community are gonna be very very happy about that uh <laughs> So, and this one's the first one that we have a, a bust for him as well. So, let me just transition back to the concept art here while we set up the, the bust. Uh, so, yeah, let, and let me check uh, chat here just to make sure I, I see what you guys are saying. Okay, so we have the, the bust set up now. And this is the first of four busts we have for this bundle. <laughs> okay, the, the chat always cracks me up. So if we, if, if we could zoom in on, on the, the face there for a moment. And I think the... This one changed a bit, like the from from concept to uh, to to execution, right? Uh, and I think it like the 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 biggest change was probably the the face, like it, it changed a bit, uh, but the the arm the armor like is all very very faithful to the concept art, and it's 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 an overall like awesome mini, like just. Very, very versatile, very, very use, very, <laughs> uh, very versatile, very useful for a lot of different stuff. Uh, a respectable mustache, uh, kind of a who men at arms mustache, right from from he man. You gotta respect the facial hair. So yeah, and again, a lot of different different uh, textures that should be very. Very interesting for uh, for the artists as well. So, we, like every time we do uh, a, a mini like this, like there, there's armor and there's kind of cloth from the under armor and there's cloth and just, just kind of like capelet as well. Uh, so yeah, lots of different stuff to to have fun with with this one. So next up we have and this one, let me set it up here uh, where is it where is it oh we have kind of a, a a double mini with this one so we have the explorer astronaut and we uh we're experimenting like the, the sci-fi subscription allows us to to just kind of try out new stuff and it's yeah it's been fun to try out stuff like this how to do uh uh, uh, a mini with a uh, like a translucent a translucent helmet right so for the 32 millimeters you're gonna have you're gonna get both options you're gonna get like the the option with the helmet on and the hel option of the, the helmet off and they are kind of static right so it's kind of either or you choose which one to print but for the 75 millimeter one you we get to have a little bit of fun uh, and let's transition here just to see how how kind of awesome it turned out. Uh, as soon as we so yeah, this is the, the sculpt, and let me just credit the artist here. Proper Laiuson Camini was the artist for for the sculpt. So thank you, Laiuson, for this awesome awesome job. Uh, so this is the the explorer, right? This is the guy that is uh, against uh, like the against the best advice he's going out of the ship to to check out the like the weird distress signal from some alien race right this this is not uh, not necessarily the smartest guy or maybe it's just a job for him uh just a second you guys Okay, and we are back again. So, uh, uh, as soon as we posted this picture, uh, like the picture of the, the, 
the spoilers uh, on uh, on Facebook and on Discord. People were asking us, okay, but how did you get that helmet? Like, what is, what is it made of? And the the answer is the helmet is actually a uh, translucent resin, and uh, it's. Uh, we have like a couple of different e examples. Oh, and we actually have like a, a translucent helmet for the 32 millimeter as well. Uh, I was I was wrong about that. I just noticed it. Uh, it. Yeah, it's back there. It's like really really tiny, but it's like also kind of really 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 cute. Uh, so so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we have a, a a cup. We're gonna have like a cup. We're probably gonna have a video out on how to get. Uh, the translucent resin to look this good, right? Because it's, it's kind of hard and it's kind of tricky to work with, uh, especially for a piece like this, which is gonna be like kind of thin. But I think we we achieved the result that is like pretty good, and I think that the one for the bust is even better. Uh, it uh, it really allows you to like see the the face of the the miniature behind it, and for the bust, that's kind of a that's kind of a must, right? So you can see all of the, the nice little details that Leuson sculpted for us. So uh, I, and I, uh, another thing that the, this this spacesuit is great. Like it it's kind of it's kind of chunky and and kind of heavy, and it really really evokes that feeling of a, a heavy spacesuit, like a, a real life one, you know. But it's also kind of. Uh, but it's also kind of like when you look at it like this and, and it's all like those overlapping plates. So it makes me think, and I'm a sucker for, for playing Paladins, man, and playing like heavily armored classes. So it immediately, immediately makes me think of like a, a, a space Paladin or, war, or Holy Warrior of some kind. Uh, so I just transitioned to concepts here so we can replace, uh, transition into the, the bust, the bust version. <laughs> okay so are we good let's let's check it out we're just adjusting the camera here so yeah this is like a, a, a really cool some there are some really really cool things that we get to to try out in sci-fi and like figure out how they work sci-fi is really the sci-fi bundles are really giving us uh, an opportunity to be to be creative about it right uh and okay i'm just waiting for the for the turntable to to turn like 90 degrees more and then i'm gonna oh yeah here we go here we go and you see like look at how great that is that's the bust version Right, so with the the largest ones, I think it's gonna be easier to make the the translucent resin uh, clearer. And another thing that we did, and that some of you may have noticed in our marketing material for it, it's right there, it, right there in this bus and in a couple of other pieces for this bundle, we we introduced LEDs. And one of the things that we are we we plan on doing is. Okay, so you guys let us know. Would you like us to do a, 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 a video on how to do LEDs with your, uh, with your minis? Because that's like a whole aspect of the, the hobby that is just kind of really great. Ooh, I think that's kind of maybe too dark. Let's, we're just gonna adjust exposure here a little bit so you guys can. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty great right there. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that yeah, just guys, just leave it like that. This is per that's perfect. That's perfect. Just leave it like that. Yeah, that <laughs> that really gives me like the. Yeah, so we're probably gonna do a couple more LEDs. We may do a couple of minis. Uh, yeah, so a couple of minis like this really, really lend themselves to the use of, of LEDs, right? 
Yeah, and you know, it's just like a little spot on the back of the helmet that could really, really bring to bring a, a, a diorama to life and make it that much better. Okay, I think we can move on now. And next up, let me just find her here. Give me just a second, guys. Okay. Next up, we have the actually the miniature that Mars is painting. The Petaloid Scientist. And this is a little bit of a weird one for this bundle, right? A couple of people have mentioned that. But here's the thing. Uh, we... Uh, this bundle has a lot of humanoids and a lot of people have been asking us for like more human looking characters uh, because those are more useful for their games. But we can never forget about the, the painters and we can never forget about the like there's a huge part of the, of the community that really, really loves when we do kind of out there stuff and when we do aliens and when we do our like our own unique alien races. Uh, so yeah, we couldn't not do at least one alien in this bundle, like something different, uh, a different looking humanoid, right? Uh, it's, uh, so that's why the, the Petalite Scientist. And it's also, and another thing is that this bundle, like the, all of the, it has a lot of soldiers and a lot of kind of Grow the the kind of gross looking osteotron right, and people are probably gonna go with dark color schemes. We wanted to to give an opportunity also for painters to do something different, like Marcy is doing, like a couple of bright colors, a couple of things that, you know, it not everything needs to be like to be like dark green or dark blue or black. Uh, you can have some some fun in this bundle, even if it's like really really dark and the things that are happening are kind of really really terrible uh so yeah let's see how the the scope turned out i think we have the uh, i'm gonna show you guys the the mini first here the the bust version and here we go and this one was sculpted by Jogo Colaris. uh and yeah it's just an all-around beautiful sculpt uh, I don't think there are a lot of things that are beautiful in this bundle in like the the classical sense of the the world the world the the word, but uh, yeah, she is just kind of a, a a beautiful mini, and I hope you can use this this race again in future bundles. So you guys, let us know uh, if you like this race, and we'll we'll keep doing it if you guys do. So you know, very very delicate features, kind of a. Uh, she's not like rough and tumble like the, the, the humans in the bundle. She's not like... Uh, she's wearing like uh, the, the scientist uh, jacket or cloak or whatever that, that thing's called. Uh, and you know, just moving around, doing stuff on her pad. And she could be from, uh, from outside of the, the, the bundle. You can fit her. Uh, yeah, she's just... Oh, she's just such a cool character. And with a lot of detail. <laughs> so, yeah. And let's take a look at what... Uh, and, and again, we're trying to keep a little bit of consistency between bundles. So you can notice like the the air tank on her, her back there that we did in a... We did in a couple of bundles ago as well. And... Uh, in Rebel Strike Back, right? So in space, you kind of, yeah, you kind of need a, a way to, to breathe, right? Uh, so yeah, let's go to, to check out what Marcia is doing. So Marcia, Marcia decided for like, a, a, who, wh what would you say that that color scheme is Marcia? Like an orchid? What kind of flower are you are you trying to paint there? Yes, I'm thinking about an, an orchid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I th and I think that yeah, and it translates perfectly. Uh, it, it's it's a uh, it lends itself th this the the petrolite scientist lends herself like very very well to a, a fun color scheme like this. Like you know, 
we don't need to to go like all black with the with this bundle. <laughs> Okay, so let's check here. What do we have next? What do we have next? We have so much cool stuff to get through still. Uh, just a second here while, while I fill in my cheat sheet. Uh, so next we have the ship marine. Okay, so we have the sh next up we have the ship marine. And this is the uh, if Major Williams was the was the boss, right? This is kind of the the MOOC. Every single Marine would probably have uh, we ha would have a, an armor like this. Uh, you guys have been asking us for more soldiers and more variety in the so soldier types. And you know, you ask and you shall receive. Uh, there's not that much to, to talk about him is just uh, a little bit of a, a different again just like Major Williams a little different a little bit of a different uh, armor concept right uh, it's this one's a, a little bit more more alien inspired and more space marine inspired with with the, the different plates than the and the, they kind of look corrugated and they go over uh, a, a space suit of some kind yeah just an awesome mini and let me transition here to the sculpt by Victor Prado again uh, a lot of like hard, hard surface stuff here a lot of uh, the, the, the air tank on, on his back uh, actually is it an is it an air tank? What is that thing on his back, Alvaro, that connects to the, to, to the helmet? Yeah, it's like an, an air tank or anything uh, the the collector or the subscriber yeah, wants it to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it can be like a battery pack that's powering the the yeah. the like the night vision, night vision helmet. 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 Yeah. yeah, it's like it's it's pretty big. It's pretty heavy, and uh, but you know, there's you gotta carry a lot of stuff. There's also his the the belt with a, a shit ton of ammunition. Uh, you guys, uh, you need to come prepared if you're gonna fight uh, uh, a horde of alien like a like the Zerg or the Tyranids or the aliens. Like there, there's just so many of these out there. You know, just so many like terrible, terrible parasitic space monsters just waiting for you out there maybe it's not such a good idea to go to mars Ooh, what happened here oh we're back oh thank god so sorry guys uh, my screen went black for for a second so yeah just another <laughs> let me check the i'm, I'm keeping a look in uh, keeping an eye on, on chat and checking out if you guys uh, have any interesting comments or any interesting questions so yeah uh, uh, this one is like ready to shoot <laughs> unlike Major Williams which was exercising proper uh, gun safety precautions uh, this one is like ready to go to war let us transition to the, the, to the concepts here just so we can do the, the busts Uh, just a second guys, I need to do a little bit of a setup here. And we are back again. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 
yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of cool things to be said about like just a regular just a regular soldiers, right? Uh, we need to do uh, we probably need to do a couple more of these. Uh, like every time we do, we do a, an interesting take on a, a space soldier. I love to see what the, the artists can come up with. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's transition to the bust now. Here now, and you, you know you can just the bust. You can just really, really see all of the the nice little the nice little details. The Oh yeah, this, oh yeah. Uh, I forgot to mention this is the last bus for the bundle. Uh, for this bundle, we we decided to go with bus for the like all of the all four buses are for the crew. I think the the, the bus for the the aliens uh, would would be kind of hard. They kind of weren't uh, working as well as uh, so. Yeah, we decided to go with bus for the bus for the whole crew. Uh, for four members of the crew, I should say. Uh, and just the last one. Uh, and like just the... the <laughs> I, I kind of like the the way the, the tubes on the, the back of the visor there just kind of curve around as if the... as if the... <laughs> as if the soldier was like whipping his head around to, to aim at something. Uh, Oh, that's actually a very, very nice idea. So, uh, Alvaro, someone's suggesting uh, for a couple of loops on the top of the tube, as if it were for uh, for transportation or something, as if they were, it was meant for a crane to pick up. It's just a, a, a suggestion from chat. Oh, thanks. I will, I will try to do something about it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I love seeing like how the little details the artist put in, like the the way the, the clothes and the suit wrinkles underneath the, the armor and with the with the the like suggested movement, right? Uh, yeah, it's just great stuff all around. So next up we have a the combat medic. Ooh, let's get to combat medic here. And with the combat medic, like the with Major Williams, the the ship marine and the combat medic, like there's this, uh, there's kind of this this uh, union. Like the their design is all kind of the same. It's the same, they, it's it's kind of like the the art styles is is all the same. It's speaking the same language, and I like to think of this as the as the who. Maybe there, there are the Marines, and maybe there's the Marines, and there's the, the crew of the ship, like in Aliens, the, the second movie, and they're not necessarily the, the same. Maybe there, there are a couple of, of civilians mixed in there. Uh, maybe you have like engineers and scientists that are not working for some, for uh, like one of those, those very, very uh, evil, huge. Uh, Organization, future organizations, future conglomerates like Wayland Utani or something like that. Uh, just like the most evil, evil corporations in the galaxy. Uh, but you know, you also have like the combat medic because you need a, you need a space cleric. Every group needs a cleric. If you need to make it a space cleric, so be it. Uh, you do not want to go into combat. With uh, without one of these guys, like the the future is a very very harsh and nasty place, and people have not stopped uh, coming out with ways to, with with like creative ways to kill each other, so you know, take your friendly neighborhood medic with you when you go. Uh, so the combat medic was uh, sculpted by uh, Victor Prado. Actually, yes. Let, let's transition here into Combat Medic. And, you know, just striking like the, this great action pose, just r probably running into the middle of, of combat to try and save someone, like diagnose, uh, diagnose and, and save. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, a couple of people have also. I, I remember uh, someone posting uh, uh, on Facebook or Discord or something. There was a comment about how they kind of look like duck wagon doctors from uh, from cyberpunk. You know, so yeah, they could definitely fit. Um, they could definitely definitely fit there as well. <laughs> Oh, people are, are, are like, uh, I, I don't know what people, why you are doing this, Dwayne, but maybe discussing the plot of Alien 4 is not the best thing to be doing in chat right now, you know? At least, you know, do of the first couple of movies, the, uh, whatever. So, yeah, uh, we have to, so this is the combat medic, and, and this guy has, like, a lot of different textures to him, and a lot of different, uh, different... Uh, both different materials and like different like geometrical shape patterns. So this one's gonna be. I, I really really want to see what you what you guys are gonna do with this one. Uh, there's just there's just so much stuff going on. And again, a couple of people uh, kind of uh, kind of always uh, they don't they don't like the idea of a single contact point miniature. Uh, so they won't even print it, and I've seen this comment before, but I think that's a mistake. You guys, you should try to print ores. Uh, if you don't like this kind of this kind of mini, like a, with a single point of contact, deck, you haven't printed one of your one of ours yet. Uh, so we don't just uh, glue it onto the base. We make a, a, a base prepare for the mini with a, a little bit of an indentation, so the the foot. Uh, goes into the base and fits perfectly there so with so yeah with some some, some super glue it's gonna be it's gonna stick there and it's not gonna fall it's not gonna it's not gonna break that is e easily yeah duck wagon from shadow run but i think uh, i think cyberpunk also has something like very very similar like if you're rich enough you can have a, a you can have like uh basically uh, a health insurance that guarantees you're not gonna they're not gonna let you die and they're gonna send like a security team to make sure you don't uh, so yeah this is the <laughs> yeah this is the combat medic and he's not the combat like you, you can see he's got a pistol so he is a combat medic emphasis on combat Okay, so next up we have the alien detector. Let me just move on to it here, just a second. So next up is the alien detector, and this guy's a, uh, it's a little bit more of a he's in a little bit more of a, a hazmat suit, right? Uh, he's the guy you send in. Like this is the hazmat suit you put in when you have when the the ship has finally like the. The shipping computers have finally detected some sort of biological contamination. You send someone in this suit, and they will look around and they will they will use the this little device to try and find the to try and find the the aliens. And uh, we created a little bit of lore for the for the the alien detector. The that equipment can detect the, the aliens even if like the the early stage stages of development so if someone's infected this is the guy that's gonna figure it out uh and yeah <laughs> yeah it's 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 not necessarily a motion detector but yeah you can definitely use it as a as a motion detector from from alien right uh i don't understand it man they're all around us they're all around us uh, okay, so this is the sculpt by, uh, and this one is by Diogo Colaris. Uh, so, yeah, again, just an awesome suit. We don't have a, a unmasked version of this one. Please don't ask, don't ask us for one. Alvar is gonna, <laughs> Alvar is gonna flip if you do. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, we, we, we actually did, like, a couple of different versions of a couple of minis. In this bundle, just not this one. Okay, so we're doing we're, we're doing all we can. Okay, uh, 
so yeah, this is the, the like really really nice sculpt uh, by uh, by Joe Colaris, and, and you can see there like the the gas mask on the face, like the the respirator. You probably couldn't see anything on the the inside of it any, anyway, because you know it's he's kind of creepy looking, and maybe he's not on your side. Maybe your party got infected. And you're trying to get yourselves healed, and this guy's like, "Who? That's that's not. You guys need to go into quarantine to be decontaminated." Uh, yeah, I wouldn't trust a guy that looks like this uh, to to save my life. He's like really really creepy. So yeah, this is the alien detector. So next up we have. Let's see here. Uh, what do we have next? Oh, we have the aviator. Let me just find the aviator here. In my little cheat sheet. And this is the, the one I was just mentioning, that we actually have two versions of him. So this is the space aviator. He's the, he's the pilot. Uh, he may be the, the transport pilot, or he may be the... He's, like, he's one of the, the marines, right? He's one of the the soldiers of the bundle uh, and or he may be like a, 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 a jet pilot if you and he like he really really fits that aesthetic of a jet pilot that's like the the whole reason we did the, the base with the the kind of uh, stairs uh, is so that it kind of looks like he's climbing up to his to his jet or to to his cockpit right and we actually did a couple of different versions of him. So we have the version uh, that is not wearing the helmet and that is holding it. And we have a, ver a version with the helmet. And both of th those versions were done by Victor Prado. So yeah. <laughs> Let me see here. Okay, so yeah, uh, just uh, another amazing sculpt. Like a lot of details, uh, a lot of a, a lot of pouches. These people are, are going into are going into battle, ready for it. Maybe just taking like lots and lots of ammunition and hoping for the best and hoping that that works. Uh, but they also have to carry like all all of their equipment. And if you're going into space, you you might as well bring. Uh, like all the help you you can you know you need like every little bit of advantage space is not meant for for humans uh, which is not to say humans are not meant to go to space it's just that space is not a very friendly space uh, friendly space for uh, place for human beings so you know you take whatever you need <laughs> uh, yeah yeah, chat always cracks me up. So, yeah, just a lot of really really nice details, and and the the particular style we went with with this bundle, like I, I keep mentioning it, it's like the the armor plates, like the, and they're not corrugated. They have like the the little uh, pips of of metal that come out of them, and they. Uh, the armor plates go over uh, a suit, like a space suit or a, or a jumpsuit of, of some kind. And, you know, that's, that's a, a, a very, very different style than something, uh, than the kind of clean uh, Empire-inspired armor we did for the Rebel Strike Back, right? Uh, and I, I, I really really lo love it. It's kind of it's kind of grounded. It can be uh, it can be space armor, uh, but it can also just be like futuristic Earth armor if you if you want to. So okay, next up, what we have? Uh, so the next up, I believe, is the engineer. Yes, the, the engineer, just a second here while I get the, the concept art for the engineer. 
So, the engineer, uh, she, uh, I, I don't think that the concept art uh, has like, uh, is actually showing all of the all of the robotic arms. She has like she has uh, four robotic arms, uh, so she she does have a little bit of a Doctor Octopus vibe going on. Uh, but you know, it's it's just an an exoskeleton. She's wearing like. Uh, uh, her work exoskeleton to and that's what she needs to interact with the ship like the one of the things that that always uh, that I, I always loved about the, the aesthetics of the the alien franchise is like just how big the ships are they are just like enormous and maybe not the living spaces of the a ship like the Nostromo or something but the, it was like a mining ship and if you're doing maintenance on a ship like that, you probably need an exoskeleton just to to reach a couple of the, the hard to reach places, to turn a couple of the the like the when a valve gets stuck, it's probably like a big valve, so you need a so you need a little bit of help and it, just a a little bit of a boost. Uh, so yeah, this is the the engineer, and the engineer was sculpted by Gustavo. Ooh, how do I pronounce his last name, Alvaro? Gustavo Glessi? Gliss? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go with Gustavo Glessi. I think it's the Portuguese pronunciation. Uh, so yeah, this is the sculpt by him. And it's uh, like just kind of, it's just really, really cool. She's just, uh, she's a bit more of a, an NPC, but you can definitely use her as a, if you want to homebrew something for a, you can definitely have her as like an artificer or something uh and the arms work just like prosthetics and they probably like follow her mental commands <laughs> yes madam webb uh yeah the like the the huge this the the backpack is like uh, on this case it's, it's uh, i think it's clearly like a huge power pack for the for the arms so that she doesn't need to like uh, plug them to a to a socket every time she needs to do a, a bit of work. Uh, it's probably uh, really really heavy, so that's why the so that's why the arms are like the arms are kind of carrying themselves, just uh, just making it uh, like a little bit easier for her to to carry that that huge uh, pack around. And yeah, the the point of yeah yeah doc doc Ock, meta Web. yeah we we kind of get it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of futuristic technology that is inspired by some some animals like <laughs> like spiders and and octopuses, right? It's uh, they feel like very very particular particular like move movement niches who there's a couple of vi videos on the on the internet of like uh either bosom dynamics robots learning how to walk and they walk really weird at first or there were a couple of ais that were just given a bunch of legs and told to to figure out how to move and it's you know a really a really really cre creepy sight uh if the future goes that way so yeah, this is the engineer. She does have a connection to a couple of other uh, minis from this bundle, uh, like the which are the ones we're gonna show next, the the robots. So first up, we have the the RMR, the remote maintenance drone. The remote, oh, remote maintenance drone, remote maintenance robot. I think the the other one is the, it's more of a drone. Uh, so yeah, this is the the robot that the yeah. So this is the robot the engineer can use to uh, kind of perform text tests remotely. She doesn't need to be everywhere in the ship at, in the, at the same time. Uh, but again, you can use it if you want to as a as a security bot or as something to uh, to hold off the the alien threat. Until uh, we got we got we get some time to to deal with it. Uh, 
and the other one we're gonna we're gonna show it's AB2R, uh, which is our our it's, a, it's more of a, a little droid. It's a little bit more of a R2D2, you know. It's it has very it has more limited limited functionality, and it can you can program it to perform simple tasks. It actually has like a built-in uh, interface compute computer interface uh, on its side there so you can do it and we're gonna show them both at the same time now and uh, they were they were actually both sculpted by the same artists uh, the, the, and the artist was João Comaceto and yeah I, I kind of really really dig the, the aesthetics of this one in particular like they, they share uh, uh, a, vi a particular visual language And like the the kind of like circular circular body uh, with the with the camera with the the slit to to, to move that for the camera to to move in uh, a lot of rotating like independently rotating rotating parts uh, and there we go that's the that's the computer interface I was talking about so you can prom program it to do a couple of simple tasks so yeah. You can use. Uh, I think artificers do have, uh, like there. There is a, an artificer class that it's all about having a, a basically an animal companion, but much much better. Uh, and yeah, both of these could be used for that. Uh, there's also uh, who and I forget the ability. I haven't played artificers that much in in five e. Uh, there's an ability that basically allows you to create a little. Uh, a, a, a little robotic familiar, a B2R, which would probably be like a, a great one for that. <laughs> yeah, the yes, the there's the battlesmith. Yeah, the battlesmith. Yeah, sorry guys, there's a little bit of a a, a delay on the stream, so I'm looking at chat on real time, but you guys are are watching me with a uh, like i think it's a yeah there's a bit of a delay on the stream so yeah this is the the awesome sculpts by joan comaceto and i think these are the the last like official members of the crew and we get to move on to the aliens now the osteotron Oh, no, actually, no, we actually have, like, a big one. I forgot about it because we we left it for la for last. Uh, because I wanted to do, uh, like, I wanted to finish the, the crew with a bang. Uh, who I could, I, thank you for reminding me. Uh, so, the last official member of the crew is the power loader. And the power loader, like everyone uh, that's watched the movies, know the knows the scene, right? Uh, it's it's definitely inspired by that scene. Uh, do we have? Yeah, and the but the power loader here, uh, we we actually have a, a little bit of a surprise for you guys. We have alternate arms for it because we realized, yeah, you can you can be like just a. Uh, basically a, a power lift a, a bipedal power lift right or it can be like an actual kind of mech suit so we have a, an alternate arm option and yeah here we have it the and the sculpt for this one is by daniel sanchez and you're gonna notice it has one arm that it's uh that is the kind of the claw and one arm that is just a big big gun uh, and they are uh, interchangeable you can change them up uh, I don't I'm not sure if the it's the 32 mm yeah I think the 32 millimeter millimeter version is also exchangeable right yeah so it's also exchangeable so you know a little bit of a surprise a little bit more versatile if you don't want to just reenact that classic classic scene from from aliens you can uh definitely just remove the 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 grab the 
the claws and, and just put up some big, big guns. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's... What is that gun, Alvaro? Is it like a, a, a grenade launcher? It's a big gun. Yeah, yeah. You, you can see on the back a lot of grenades. <laughs> yeah, you're probably gonna need, gonna need it to like clear uh, uh, an infestation. Uh, you're gonna need like big, big firepower. Uh, we also did. Uh, there's there are two versions of the the of the like the main body of the this mini. Uh, let me just transition here. We also have a version a version that doesn't have the pilot. Uh, Right, that is just the the suit. If you if you want to have the the power loader as a like a, a just an object in the scene, and then bring in the the version of the pilot when you when the the players or the uh, or a character uh, jumps into it, you can do that now, right? So yeah, two versions of the the power loader is just kind of awesome. And can we can I do uh, uh, another uh, just for a size comparison? Can we get another seventy five seventy five next to him? Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, yeah just. Oh, I actually wasn't. I actually wasn't showing you. Sorry. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. Like the 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 mech suits in the Matrix, which I think like the 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 ones in the Matrix, they sh probably should have been like more well armored. Uh, I can <laughs> I can get the the one in, in in Aliens being being open uh, like it was, but in the but in the Matrix, they those guys could probably use like a little bit more armor, right? Yeah, you can have a, you can have a couple of them docked, and you can have a, a and you can have one being piloted. So with this, I think we close up the we close up the crew of the of the ship, and we're actually gonna we're gonna take a little bit of uh, a little bit of time, just so we can uh, set up. Another background here for the, the aliens. Just give me a second here while I uh, change it to... So, uh, this bundle was obviously inspired by uh, the creatures from the movie Alien. Uh, from the Alien franchise, right? But we kind of went... We took that inspiration and those ideas and we decided to go our own our own way with it so uh, although it is reminiscent of the 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 xenomorph I think that's the that's the name that uh, eventually they they got we settled with right the, the xenomorphs so although it is reminiscent of the xenomorph it is not the same thing it is kind of our own thing not only did we decide to do uh, to do this this new alien monster, uh, we like we did a, a lot of versions of this alien monsters. So we did like the whole life cycle of the creature, from egg to getting to getting someone infected, to like the to to chest burster, uh, to to like full uh, full blood alien, and then finally the uh, uh, a queen, uh, like a hive queen, and of course uh, 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 a hybrid monstrosity, right? Uh, because uh, yeah, it's 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 fun. It's very very gross and very very fun. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this while we, we set up the, the new background there, which I think is a little bit more befitting of the of the Osteotron than uh 
Yeah, so I'm gonna go actually gonna go over like the all of the, the life cycle that we have here. We actually have uh, so as for the life cycle, we have the eggs and we're probably gonna show them in the in the object sec section in the end. Uh, but and then after the eggs, we have the infection, which is the, this one, the Osteron hatchling. Right, and I think that the base actually has some eggs, and, and a couple of eggs are hatching. And this one is a little bit less of a a, a spider scorpion monstrosity, and a little bit more of a a snake, right? A a, a face hugging snake. Whew, that's a sentence. Yeah. Uh, after the after they hatch, uh, also this is the hatchling. They infect people, right? And uh, they don't have like the the osteotron have. That's where the name comes from. They have a lot of bones, except for in this stage of life, in which they are kind of like uh, a helminth, right? Uh, a little a little just uh, a bit of a flat parasite. And then uh, they kind of chest burst, but they, they do it in a very, very gross way. Uh, like the, the head, the head of the, the victim just literally falls off. And they, they burst the whole chest and the, the ribs kind of look like a, a gaping maw, as, as Matt Mercer would say. And you can use this as a standalone creature, right? As if the, the parasite was controlling the corpse. Or you can use this as just kind of uh, the in-between stage between this and this, the proto Ostertron 1. Uh, so yeah, this thing goes around, scurries around, kills a, kills a bunch, eats, grows, 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 and then they become the half Ostertron. The... the or our lovely lovely alien inspired monster and there's uh there's there are uh, a couple of, of we did actually did like three different versions of the of the of this one in three different action poses this is something you guys have been asking us for uh for a, a while as well to do uh more poses uh, so yeah, uh, I think we had a, a lot of fun with, with this one, and I'm gonna save the I'm gonna save the like the last stage for the end because I think we are base we are almost ready here. Yeah, we're almost ready. Ooh, yes, uh, people, are, uh, people are saying check. Frank Pollard is saying chat also gives me some Cloverfield vibes. Yeah, uh, what's, the, what's the name the community settled for the, the Cloverfield monster? Clovey, something like that. Just a second, you guys. Yeah, just a second. We are still setting up stuff here, but yeah, let me know in chat in chat what you guys think about this bundle so far. Uh, <laughs> I see that a lot of people uh, are already like uh, are loving the 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 Osteotron and <laughs> Antonio is saying gonna upscale this into a kaiju. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that I think that would work. That would definitely work. Uh, upscaling this into kaiju, but I think it would it would work even better for the Osteotron Queen, the the largest the largest one, the 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 half Osteotrons, the Osteotrons. They're like they are medium sized. They are like on the the high end of medium sized creatures. The Queen is uh uh the the queen is uh on the 
it's, the queen is definitely huge. It's it's like it's not large anymore. It's, it's just like on the she's on the upper side of large, lower side of huge. I would say. Uh, so yeah, it's just absolutely massive. So yeah, let's start off with the proto ostrichon. And if you if you if you could do the both versions, uh, like just prepare this one as well. Uh, yeah. Just a second, you guys. Yes. But, but so yeah, we have to yeah. So let's let's start with this one first. So this is the juvenile proto oster tron. This is the version that uh, this is the the chest burst burster released from the chest after it burst right uh so yeah just a, a, a really really kind of creepy really really creepy creepy crawler you can imagine this thing like going through the just making a lot of noise going through the the vents and it's a, it's still like a little bit of a snake it doesn't really have arms or limbs or anything right those kind of uh, detach from the body later on in, in later stages of life like all of those stages we didn't get to see uh, while the while the <laughs> the alien was uh, was hiding around in, in vents and in crawl spaces in the Nostromo uh, those are the those are the same uh, that we kind of don't get to see here but you know it's it's great just a uh, uh, the the creepiest little little guy uh actually let, uh, and this one uh, was sculpted uh just before i forget uh the uh the proto was sculpted by uh laiuson camini so let's take a, a step back and go to the hatchling which would be like the first stage of life so this is the this is the hatchling uh, as I, as I said, it's like that 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 moment, like that weird uh, Geiger created uh, alien creature. We're kind of trying to do our best homage to it here, uh, but it's also our own thing. It's much more of a a snake or of a, or of a tapeworm <laughs> who. Uh, a face hugging tapeworm that's that's not a that's not a good sentence how are you, how are you doing uh yes we're just gonna uh we're just gonna go back to it there. Yeah, Geiger was really dope, but he was also really, really weird. Uh, like the there, there's a couple of there's a couple uh, uh, of interviews with him that are really, really funny. He was just kind of an out there kind of guy, right? Uh, yeah. So yeah, let's go for the sculpt and the the sculpt of the hatchling. Is also by Laiuson Camini, and this is like the this is the first stage, and there's just so much going on in this picture. Like there are the eggs hatching on the base, with even a, a, a like a fret like the fret uh, the freshly hatched uh, proto oster town just snaking around like a like an anaconda and tying up the tying up this poor, this poor, poor bastard. He, he doesn't even get a... This guy probably doesn't even get a... a, a the actor doesn't even get like a, a named uh, a named character for the, for the credits at the end of the movie, right? Uh, but yeah, just so, so creepy. Uh, it's just uh, the face-hugging tapeworm, which is so gross. And abs. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree. This, this is the worst thing in the best possible way. Whew. And next up, uh, we have the... Because we, we got a, a little bit turned around on the, the other turn. We have the Juven Juvenile Proto Ostrotron 2. The, the, the Ostrotron, while is bursting out of the, 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 the body, right? And it's... Like, the fact that the, the head got popped out of the body and is still intact here on the base, it's kind of amazing, right? And, like, just frozen in that last, like, death girdle, death screen. Uh, it's, it's just really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, let's transition into it. Again, a sculpt by Ilayusun Kamini. Uh, <laughs> oh, th these are not necessarily uh, Jeremiah Sells is com commenting uh, who, ha yeah, we have the head as a, se as a separate piece <laughs> we actually have it here Ooh, the, the little head as a separate piece, let's see if my big face gets out of the way to focus here eh, it's not gonna focus, but it's, you know it's a it's a little bit of an extra thing that you can print. You can print like a lot of these. Uh, I can al uh, I can already see like someone we did a, a a little turtle for the the fantasy bundle, and like in the first couple of days, someone printed like uh, like uh, like what a hundred of them, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I I can see people printing like a hundred little heads and just making a a pile. Uh, somewhere <laughs> yeah but these are not necessarily marines this can be like workers on a colony like they're, they're wearing like pretty standard space jumpsuits uh, so they can be workers on a colony or engineers or stuff like that uh, okay so next up the, the next stage on the, on the development would be the yeah, yeah, let's show... Okay, so there's a couple of different ways things can go once you get infected. And you can, of course, become one of the... One of the... The... Ostotron, right? Not become, more like... Uh, get transformed into to one of the Ostotron. Who I'm trying to find a concept art here, and I'm... And I'm missing the mark. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do not have the concept art up for this one. This would have been a mistake. Yeah, we actually don't have the concept art for this one up. That's weird. Yeah, just a second. Uh, I'll find it here. It's not in our. It's not in our concept page. But it's probably. Yeah, it's here. Uh, Let me do some some thing magics here, you guys. Just a second while I uh, while I find this thing here. Uh, so yeah, let's just go straight to the straight to the sculpt. I don't know. Uh, we're probably gonna upload the the. Who? This was a, mis a mistake. I remember seeing it when we launched the concept page. Uh, maybe it got taken down at some point and just no one realized. Uh, yeah. So the next one is kind of the it's the hybrid, right? It's the 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 thing they try to do on the during the. Ooh, let me just transition back here so we can change it. Uh, let's see here. Mm, which one is this? Let me just find it here on my little. Cheat sheet. Oh yeah, I, I, I think I see what happened now. Yeah, I think I see what happened. 
Alvaro, can you just confirm for me who was the artist for the for the Oso throne? Like the 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 versions with the 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 one we did the the three versions for. It was Guilherme. Just a second, you guys. So I think I, I realized what happened. Is the half Ostrotron? Who was the sculptor for the for the eight, for the half Ostrotron, Alvaro? Was it Daniel Sanchez, I think? Uh, let me check, just a second. Yeah, I think my I think my cheat sheet here got got mixed up a couple of things. Yeah, it but, was Daniel. Yeah, so it was Daniel Sanchez for the half also throne, which is this guy, which is the hybrid. Uh, that's the concept art was I was looking for on the website, and uh, and unfortunately it's not there. I think it got like taken down for for some reason. We're gonna we're gonna fix that in, in a bit. Uh, so, yeah. So yeah. So Daniel Sanchez did an amazing job with with this one. I think the the idea with this one, like we we are revealing it together with the aliens and on the on the bundle page as well. He is with the he's on the the side of the the aliens. Uh, but the, of the Ostrotron, but he's, he doesn't necessarily need to be. He's a bit of an odd case. He was either infected and didn't turn out away, or maybe he, uh, there were some government experiments done to try and, uh, and give him the, the strength and power of, a, uh, of an Ostrotron. Uh, so, yeah, it... Uh, we kind of leave it up to you guys to decide his origin story and where he should uh, he should fit, right? It's uh, <laughs> yeah, like the, the the claws are great, the the, the spikes on the back back are, are great, and the the also turn are kind of like their their whole thing is that their uh, their bone structure is literally bursting out of them. They are a little bit like sh like sharks, uh, in that they like if they lose a teeth, they they regrow the teeth, that uh, that tooth. But if the if they lose a bone or it breaks, it can regrow as well, or it can like burst into a, a tumorous node or something. So yeah, it's a little bit of uh, like that happening with a with a human with a humanoid being. Uh, it's not a fun experience, and it's very, probably a very, very painful one. Like growing a, a third limb, like the the little arm there that is wrapped out, wrapped uh, in bandages, uh, <laughs> and just kind of that that small, small, uh, that small, small hand that I think, who maybe Deadpool would enjoy very much. Yeah, don't mind me while I take a, a just a, a a little sip of water there. So yeah, this is just a a, a bit of a, a fun mini, just something like a, a little bit more out there, uh, and you know you guys can decide where it goes, where it should go, if it should go as a member of the crew, uh, if it can even be trusted as a member of the crew, or if it should be uh, like a full blood traitor to the crew maybe this is the guy that that started uh, to spread the infection so next up we have the osteotron proper the and we have three of these guys so we're gonna show uh like uh, like the all of the different poses so we're gonna be transitioning a couple of times <coughs> <coughs> and uh, the sculptor for the for the Ostrotron, Alvaro, who was it? Uh, let's check just a second. 
It was Uriel. Uriel Mendes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. My cheat sheet was was like missing a, a, a couple of names here. That's that's what happened. So folks, sorry about that. So yeah, here we have it in all its glory. Uh, the <laughs> yeah, here we have it. Uh, and there's a lot of th this is one of the ones that has a, a lot of movement and like flowing movement. Uh, kind of sculpted into the uh, like that goes into the sculpture uh, we we love to use this little trick of using the like this long kind of uh, flat the, the long tail to to give it a little bit more support the you can see like the the the, the style kind of continues right there's the this visual identity that continues like from the 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 Oseltron hatchling to the full blood Oseltron with like the like, like obvious obviously like the head crest is very char characteristic but also like the the way the tail is, is flat and it has uh those little frills around it where the uh in the same positions basically where the the hatchling had them so it's just uh, an organic machine designed to kill, right? Uh, as as the as the I I think uh, who who uh, who was it that put this that said something similar? And I think it was the I I think and I think it was Aliens Resurrections. Oh oh crap! I remember stuff from Alien Resurrections now. Resurrection. Yeah, resurrection, that one. So uh, let's show. Let's move on to the next one now. Uh, the next version, and I think this is a, a more like yes. The next one is more of a, a, a standing version. It's not like leaping into action like the the other one, uh, but this one is like an absolute tall boy. And as I said, they are size medium. But they are on the the larger size of medium, and when they they like uh, stand almost erect like that on two legs, uh, they are an intimidating sight to behold. Yes, absolutely. Like uh, uh, I think there's uh, you guys can definitely use this as a uh, as uh, as tyrants from the from the hive right from the from the tyranid hive so yeah there's a lot of different things you can do with these creatures without necessarily need, needing to use them as standings for for an eight for uh the xenomorph uh <laughs> Whew. yeah table go this thing it's like an, a shark and a tapeworm had a had a baby and left it with an eel. Yeah, that's that's the sentiment right there. Who almost like wings, the bones uh, sticking out of the back there. And like, once you guys get to printing this, like the the head especially has just so many like cool little details it's not smooth it's uh, it's almost a little bit like uh it has a, a pattern a little bit sim similar to like damascus steel or something uh it's really really cool really really cool looking so let's transition now to the to the last uh to the last version of the the osteotron Sorry guys. So this is the this is the last version of the regular Osteotron. And you know it's it's kind of uh it's preparing uh it's preparing to launch. Or I think this one would be great for like a for a diorama, right? Uh overall we gotta remember if we ever do a, a predator, we gotta remember this one and do a and do 
a predator alien that fits in a diorama base with this one. What do you think? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, the he's like, it's like he's he's facing someone, right? Uh, yeah, you just gotta gotta decide who this one would. Uh, I think this version would be great for dioramas. Oh yeah, like the the head crest. Can we keep zooming in a little bit more into the head? Yeah, like all of those little wavy patterns in the, the head there, it's it's just just great, just awesome. <laughs> okay, uh, and I think this is is this the last one before the queen? I th yeah, this is the last one before the queen. I'm gonna transition back here. And uh, while we set up the queen, the queen is a big one. Uh, so yeah, actually we, we did the queen first in the concept art because we knew you guys were gonna really, really uh, be wanting one of these. And this is the one that I think if you, if you guys wanna enlarge it and do a bigger version, this is the one you gotta do it with. And can we get a... a can get a, a, a humanoid by her side? Yeah. And we actually have like, uh, we have the, the regular, her regular base, and we also have the queen's nest, right, Alvaro? Yes. Yes, so we have the nest as well, which we're gonna showcase in a little bit. Uh, but then we're probably gonna need to like reconfigure our whole thing there to, to be able to show the, the terrain pieces. So hang hang with us for for a bit, you guys. Oh, <laughs> people are, uh, yeah. She, uh, let's see here. Yeah, people are mentioning like the queen is giving people like Evangelion vibes, Evangelion vibes, uh, and uh, you know a little bit. But I think uh, uh, I think it was uh, 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 Eva zero one, which is the one that has the the big horn, right? So yeah, definitely, maybe. I think it gives me a little bit more of a who God. Godzilla 1999 vibes Yeah uh, Yeah, this one definitely definitely kaiju ka kaiju vibes and this this uh, like clove uh, the, the Cloverfield monster uh, Shares a couple of characteristics with our queen here like the way she carries the, the eggs and the young on her on her back there just who you don't it's it's probably like one of those things that you you need to kill it but you need to kill it from far away and probably with fire or a grenade launcher or something like like that because it's one of those things where you're like you know you step on a spider or kill a spider and you move your foot and all of its little babies come out you know uh or you try to to kill it with a broom and you unleash unholy hell in your house uh yeah it's not a it's not a uh uh it's not it's not fun it's you know it's not it's not great it's not a great situation uh so do we have it set up yet just yeah kind of okay so here we have it the queen and there's a lot of stuff going on with the queen. Yeah, can we can we zoom in on her? I think that angle is great. If we could uh, like zoom in and and just show, I'm even gonna let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the to super zoom here. Just a 
huge, huge uh, creature. Yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, I think I'd rather fight a dragon than this. Because you fight a dragon, you kill it, you're done. You fight one of these things, you kill it, you still might be turned into one of these things. And the cycle just starts again, you know. There's usually just one queen in a colony. But if there's like a lot of food, there may be multiple queens and they can just... And then the Ilstertron can just wipe out a planet real, real fast. Of all sentient life. Like the, this one is definitely a, a little bit of a kaiju. I don't even know if you need to uh, enlarge it to to print an enlarged version of it. You you can just you know print this if you're playing a, a game a game with 32 millimeter miniatures. Just print a 75 millimeter version, and it's gonna be it's gonna be good enough. It's gonna be uh, big enough. Uh, uh, it in for scale it yeah uh, if you could do it like this is it next to a oh it's so big let me go back to miniature real, real quick yeah this is it next to a, a 32 millimeter miniature like just look at it and even besides a 75 millimeter can we can we do it can we can I put it next to a, a 75 millimeter miniature it's like, it's so big. It's still so big. Both these miniatures are like the same scale. And the, the queen is still huge. So yeah, I I guess I guess this is it for characters for this bundle. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh Jesus! Okay, so I'm gonna transition like real real quick to to Mars's view here, uh, so we can check out what she's doing uh, while we prepare for the last couple of uh, for the last couple of pieces for this bundle. We chart, uh, we chart uh, a couple more uh, terrain pieces and uh, the objects for this bundle. Yeah, and I think for that one we're just gonna do a like a, a simpler background. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about about the the what's coming up. Who should we transition? While we prepare it, should I? Oh. Yeah, there's just like a, a lot of really, really cool objects in this bundle. Uh, let's wait a while people, while people set that up here. And let's watch and just, whew, let's, uh, watching Marcia paint like this really makes me wish we had like uh, one of those uh, lo-fi hip-hop playlists going, you know, the, like the, the, stud, the study music or something. Really? Yeah. Uh, people have just informed me, informed me that we have like smooth jazz playing on the other, other room what's what's up with that i don't know yeah yeah i guess i can kind of hear it now it's it's a bit weird yeah lutz offices are there is not a single person here that would pass us uh that would pass like uh uh who what's the name the uh, a, a, a psychological assessment. Yeah, there's not a single one of us that would pass with like flying colors. Everyone's kind of crazy here at Loot. <laughs> so there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the background there.
Yeah, so first up we have the, let, and let me transition here to the concepts first. Just a second, you guys. So we have a couple of objects that are associated with the, the queen. And the, uh, so we have the, we have the queen's nest and we have the eggs, like the, the giant eggs. And the queen's nest over there that I'm gonna, we're going to show to you guys, it's 32 millimeters. They're all 32 millimeter, right? Uh, so yeah, the queen's nest nest is like an alternate base You do, if you don't want to. Oh, or does the base go into it? The, it's an alternate base. Okay. So it's an alternate base for the, uh, for the queen, for the 32 millimeter queen. Uh, which doesn't have the edges and it's probably gonna work like really really well if you want to do uh, a diorama and we have a couple of eggs because you guys you know we kind of need to have uh, if we're gonna have uh, the uh, an alien creature with this life cycle we kind of need to have some some egg clusters right and we have both of these right here uh, let me yeah there we go so yeah this is the base for the it's kind of a diorama base for the queen the queen's nest plus the eggs there and it's you know just something really really fun if you guys want to do a a set piece or something and don't necessarily want to play with this awesome awesome model uh that's an alternative uh, an alternative thing you can do Oh, uh, so yeah, just a lot of a lot of really really cool detail, like the the a bit of a uh, the remains of a crashed ship are there as well. Besides the besides the the eggs, the and the egg cluster clusters in the nest, and I imagine like if you paint this with the right colors, it can it can be like kind of eerily beautiful, you know? It doesn't need to be like all the, the black goo from Alien, it, uh, and from Aliens, it can be like, just do a, a bunch of different colors and make make death rainbow. Uh, so yeah, these are the, the objects associated with the queen. Do we have a 32 millimeter version that can go in there? I don't think we have a, I don't think, I don't think we have one here, no. Uh, okay, and the other thing that we have is we have a bunch of machinery and, and other objects for the ship and that go into the ship. Uh, let me actually... Let's see if I can show all of it here and it's not showing up. Let's see here. Yeah, there are a couple of ob objects that are not showing up here. Well, we're definitely gonna show them into, into. We're definitely gonna show them over here. So we have like the this arm claw, the this control chair, which can also be, uh, like can be like the captain chair. We have uh the this computer. We have the the spot right here. We have a couple of different uh. Uh, we have the like the diagnostic bag. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have the diagnostic bed. Uh, we have a table that is not showing up right now, and we have uh, a couple of chests. Uh, and to fill out, the, the crew needs a needs a place to hang out, right? So we so we did a a, a modular control room. And you can take off. Uh, so yeah, you the the modular control room actually comes with like a, a, a little separate piece, which is a which is a kind of a terrain map, and that you can print separately, and it has a bit of texture to it, so it looks so you can print it with translucent resin like we did, and it looks a little bit like a like one of those. Uh, uh, like a, uh, an early Star Wars hologram or something, which is kind of you know kind of pixelated. We also did uh, we also did it without the 
the the glasses here uh, so you can uh, and we did slots on top of it so you can uh, slide in uh, yeah we're, we're gonna show it to you guys I think it's better if we show it to you guys so yeah this is it this is the, the sculpt and the objects in this bundle were sculpted by Anderson Pioli uh, and a couple some of the machinery was also sculpted by Alex 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 Maric Alvaro you, you get you you should learn the last names Alvaro because I'm gonna keep asking you yeah I, that's how I pronounce it pronounce it <laughs> yes so thank you uh Anderson and Alex uh for bringing us this awesome stuff so this is the modular control room uh, like the the furniture uh there's a couple of furniture pieces outside there and we actually did it uh, uh yeah, you see it? There we go. So there's a, a, a little bit of a space on top so you can slide in uh, a little bit of... What's that material? Acrylic yeah, it's, it's an acrylic plastic that we used. Uh, you can probably find stuff like this in, in like a bunch of hobby shops. Uh, like the, the whatever uh, hobby shop is nearer to your house, you can probably find it. FEP film? Yeah, film? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah people are, are, are uh yeah if you have a, a like a broken fep film yeah. or, or like leftovers from when you maybe. from, from <laughs> maybe you can use it uh, i don't recommend it like going to your 3d printer and just ripping out off the fep film <laughs> but if you have uh, like some extra lying around you know uh, maybe you had a, a crack or a little bit of a, uh, a hole in it. Uh, so yeah, you, you replace it and now you have a, a new use for the old one. Uh, so yeah, there's, uh, there's the hologram I mentioned in the middle and it's removable as well, right? It's a separate piece. And yeah, it's, it fits really snugly in there. I don't even know if it's gonna like lift right now without a little bit of effort because it fit it it just kind of fits really really snugly uh oh yeah oh this one's glued in oh yeah yeah okay so uh can we move on to the other objects yeah just go just go around the other objects and i'll talk a little bit about them so yeah, we have the diagnostic bed right there. It's a uh, it's a little bit uh, like a, a, a MRI machine, right? Like a future futuristic one. I had to use one once. Would not want to do it again. It's really really loud, and they play music, but it doesn't drown out the the noise of the huge huge ton of magnets going around your head, and it's really really scary. This one is a little bit nicer. It's not like you do, you probably don't uh, end up feeling like you're in a in a coffin. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one it's uh let's it's the crate. It's our obligatory chest for the bundle. Uh, whenever possible, we try to do, it's kind of our literal tradition to do some sort of chest for the bundle. And the crate is kind of uh, our, uh, our try at that for this bundle. Uh, so what we have next? Let's see here. Yeah, we have a table, like the, we have the, the crew table. The crew needs to, to sit down and have breakfast and have a chest burst, burster scene. In, uh, around that table uh, it's it's uh, like chips need a, a, a social space uh, so people can like relax and unwind uh, when they are done surviving the, the alien attack next up let's see what we have next oh we have an, a reactor if you're setting up a, a, a new colony or you're setting up in a place where Maybe you're gonna be without help, without uh, help for help around for a while. You need a, an energy source, so we have a reactor for you. Uh, next, what do we have next? 
yeah, we have the comment share uh, that I mentioned before. The comment share can be like the it can be a comment share, a pilot share, or it can just you can just print a bunch of them and populate your ship. Your ship. It's just kind of kind of a cool, cool little little captain's chair. Uh, we have the robotic arm, uh, which is probably what you're gonna use when the, like the engineer is gonna use when her her little exoskeleton. It's not enough, but it's also not a, a, a big enough no load that you need a, a power loader. So that's what you use. You use a, the two you need for the job, right? Also, when you need to manipulate uh, like radioactive stuff from far away, that reactor is probably not uh, safe to be around. And I think, uh, do we have another one? Yeah, and I think those are all of the objects for the bundle. And I think we are actually done. And we got a little bit delayed with the, the objects for this bundle. Let me set up things here so I can transition back. And here we go. So yeah, we got a little bit delayed to start the, to start the stream today. But before we go, uh, there's a couple of things that I want to talk to you about. First off, check out the, check out the magazine. Uh, it has like all, the, all of the lore for the bundle and the stat blocks for the, for the characters if you want to use, use them in your game. Uh, also, in regards to the magazine content and the content we put out for, for sci-fi, a lot of you have been asking us to do more, uh, more painting content for sci-fi and uh, I'm proud to announce we are working on it. We have just hired a new painter, Luisa, and she's gonna be helping us produce uh, some some content for sci-fi. I don't think I can promise you the, the painting guide for this bundle yet, but the painting guide is coming for sci-fi. We're gonna try that out, test it out. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna get, you guys are gonna have both uh, a guide and a little bit of inspiration on how to on how to get going on the, the models of the bundle. Uh, so yeah, painting guide is coming for, for sci-fi. Uh, next order of business that I have to talk about is the, uh, the holder, the painting handle. It is coming. We are having to do some adjustments to it. Uh, everything got... Uh, pe people have been asking for it for, uh, for a while now. Uh, but uh, a lot of stuff happened and we focused on working on the bundles, but we have not forgotten about the painting handle for sci-fi. Uh, and Luisa, who just arrived, has a couple, also had a couple of, uh, had a couple of suggestions for it to improve it. So we are, uh, we're gonna release a, a new and improved version of the painting handle, and we're gonna have like a, a version that fits the, uh, a version of the actual like holders that fits the the, the sci-fi basis as well. So don't worry, it's coming. And finally, uh, w which is a thing I, I kind of uh, spoiled a little bit uh, in uh, in the, like before the live stream even started, uh, some of you have already seen the concept art for the next sci-fi loyalty reward. The six month loyalty reward that is gonna be coming out in March. So March 15th, 16th, the, uh, the new loyalty reward is coming out. And who, let me remember the, the name now because I don't think the, it had, uh, the name of the loyalty reward is the, ah, I, I, I forgot the, like the official name now. It's the Mecha Hunter Mark V, I guess. It's the Mecha Hunter Mark V, yes. Yeah. Uh, and here we have it. And we already revealed this concept art, and people have been really, really excited for it. And we have an update for you today. Uh, the the scopes is going along well. We already have like a couple of test, a couple of uh, uh, of test print versions uh, here. We may we may post some of those in our in our social media and like on Facebook and uh, and Discord soon, just to give you guys a, a, a little bit of a taste of what's to come. Uh, but yeah, 
because we don't have the, the statue version to show to you guys here today, we prepared a little a little 360 video just to so you guys get to get to witness how this is turning out. So check it out. And this loyalty reward, uh, uh, it's gonna be it, it's humanoid sized, right? S but we're gonna have a statue version of it. So if you want to do a Mac, a Mac, or a, or an Eva, or whatever you want to do with it, you can still do it. We're, we will have a statue version for it, which should end up, you know, about uh, what thirty centimeters tall, maybe a little bit taller than that. Uh, it it does have. Uh, like you guys may have seen the, the arms pop out, pop off there for a for a second, like just disappear for a second, and that's actually a feature. Uh, the this loyalty reward is gonna come with like the the arms are gonna are gonna be removable. So if you don't like the the four armed uh, uh the four arms are static, you can uh you can just not print them or remove them. The for the thirty two millimeter version is gonna be an either or. Either you print to, with the four arms, or you print with two arms. Uh, so yeah, this is the six-month loyalty reward. All you need to do to to acquire it is stick with us until uh, March sixteenth. I think it's gonna be, and you need to you need to have basically all of the sci all of the sci-fi bundles, right? Yes, all of the sci-fi bundles, up to up to March so yeah if you if you start uh, if you have just subscribed uh, or if you came in a little bit late on the, the sci-fi maybe you should grab a couple of the old bundles to uh, to make sure you don't miss this awesome awesome reward yeah this one is being sculpted by uh, Hobson Bajos he was in chat a little bit earlier uh, he is our 3D team lead for the sci-fi bundle, uh, and you know, uh, he's one of our he is one of our, our best sculptors. And who look at the, the the head on the the foot of the 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 video there is actually of one of our uh, the Terminator robot, the one of the the mechas we did for for the December sci-fi bundle, I think. Uh, so yeah, this is what this guy is all about. It's just destroying, destroying and hunting down big mechs. Yeah, people are like really, really excited about this one. I am as well. I cannot wait to see the the statue version. And I think, who okay, yeah, I think that is all for today. I'm gonna leave this going here for a while, and then we can go into a, a quick Q and A. Uh, if you guys wanna, uh, like, yeah, send us uh, any questions you wanna, you wanna ask, uh, and we're gonna do our our best to answer them. It can be for it can be uh, for me. It can be for. Alvaro, it can be for, for Marcia, it can be allowed about the sci-fi bundle or loot in general. So just send in your your requests or your uh, or your questions and we're gonna do our best to try and answer them in the, in this last couple of minutes. I don't wanna end the end the live stream without doing this. Uh, it's kind of tradition now. Oh, uh, Antonio, the robot on the ground is we already released. The robot on the ground is the Terminator robot from, uh, from the Rebels. Is it the Rebels Strike Back? I, I don't know which one. Uh, actually, this robot robot head on the base. It's oh, is this a new one? Similar, yeah, it's similar to the Terminator one, but not the same. Oh, it's not the same. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but you can, Antonio, you can definitely sh uh, uh, check out, like, we have done a couple of mechs in our little older bundles, and, you know, I don't know if we're going to do, like, a bundle that is 
fully max. Uh, but you know, uh, you can always join the subscription. If, if you stick around for long enough, you're gonna end up collecting a lot of them. So let's see here. Holt Harper, what is the starting bundle to be current in Fantasy Season Two? So it depends on the like the. Holt, Holt, we got your question. You don't need to spam chat. Uh, we got it now. Uh, uh, oh no, it's, sorry, you're you. It's like a different question. Sorry. So first off, to to get it, you're asking. What is the starting bundle to be current in Fantasy Season 2? Uh, and Fantasy Season 2, I think you mean our second loyalty reward cycle. And I think the first bundle for that was... It was... It's another trap, right? Yes, I believe it was. It was the cobbled bundle for, for last year. Is another trap, which I think was the July bundle. It was either June or July, I'm not sure. I think June was of brains and tentacles, and July uh, and July was it's another trap. So if you have it's another trap, you should be up to date on the new loyalty reward cycle. Like if you have from from it's another trap forward. Uh, another way to think about it is that you can uh, you can come ba backwards, right? If you want to figure out if you qualify for the for any loyalty reward, take the the number of months of the reward so if it's the six month reward you count backwards like do i have the six months before this one then i qual then i qualify for the loyalty reward uh so your second question what is the method to make the clear soldier helmet the clear soldier helmet was actually just printed in translucent resin there are a couple of techniques to make it like that clear and I think it's easier to do it with like uh, uh, larger models than with the, the really small ones. But then again, if you if you try a bunch of times, you're gonna get it get it right. And it's easy to try a bunch of times because it's a very small amount of resin that you're, that you're gonna use. Uh, we're probably gonna do a video on how to do it properly on and on how we did it to get those kind of results. Uh, but I suspect it's a little bit of trial and error, right? Yeah. Uh, Okay. Who question here, Muhammad? When will you guys share the fantasy bundle concepts? Yeah, those those are coming. Like either later today after the live stream or tomorrow. We're gonna figure it out. Don't don't worry. There's some awesome awesome stuff, and you're not gonna not gonna want to miss the next fantasy bundle. Uh, make the rewards be part of a giant diorama. That's uh, that's a great suggestion, Antonio. Uh, question. Oh, the, I I think the the base we're looking at right now it's not necessarily. Uh, yeah, first off, we're gonna have a, a specific painting handle for the for the for the sci-fi subscription. And that base is not not tapered. It's the it's the base we're looking at right now, Alvaro, the one that it's uh, that Hobson shared with us. Is this one the statue base? Yeah, yeah. For yeah. the the loyalty rewards, we do regular bases for the thirty two mm -hmm. and seventy five millimeters. But for the statue scale, we usually sculpt a different base with a mm -hmm. little more details and usually a little smaller, so it don't become so too big to print. Yes, uh, yeah. So that that's the answer. That's that base in this base in particular is a little bit different because it's for the statue, and the statue wouldn't fit in the painting handle anyway. Top uh, so Danny Crawford is asking, has there been a thought towards updating the website for model organization? It's been tricky to go through past bundles to find specific models. Yes, we are doing that. We are uh, working on that right now. Uh, we should have uh, like the, we should run the final tests on our new platform fairly soon. And then we're gonna launch it. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a process, right? 
and we're gonna put out a couple of community posts uh, teaching you guys how to like the the, the 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 a couple of you guys have participated on the tests of the the new platform that we've been doing and we've been getting a lot of very very good feedback on that thank you so much for all those who have participated so far and it should be a, a much easier user experience uh we're gonna do a couple of posts uh just talking about some things and about some of the functionalities and how to use them but you guys should be able to figure it out pretty quickly uh let's see here if i missed any any important questions Dario Miguel, I don't quite understand your question. Are you thinking make more loyalty rewards like the fantasy bundles, but for just sci-fi? Yeah, this is going to be the six-month loyalty reward, and we're going to use the same system uh, that we use for the fantasy subscription. We're going to use it for the sci-fi subscription. So, yeah, we're going to keep doing loyalty rewards for, for sci-fi. Jeremiah Sells asks, when are we going to have the, the office tour? Uh, the office tour is coming. Uh, we had uh, uh, a member of the team uh, that was going to be working on that. Uh, just got released to do like a LASIK surgery, so he's not here this week. Uh, so yeah, we had to move around our schedule on that. But it is coming, don't worry. It is in our plans. Uh, let's see here what else Frank Pollard any chance of being able to purchase individual models of Evios bundles uh, no plans on that right now no plans on, on individual model sales uh, the, the new platform will allow us to do to be a little more flexible in some things uh, but we don't have any plans right now for individual uh, models Mm, let's see her. Yeah, uh, I haven't done this uh, for, for a bit, so let me just... Uh, let me just transition here. Too. So Alvaro, can you just uh, because I, I'm gonna transition into your into your view right now? Can you give us like an overall view of how it's turning out the the model? Sure. Um, so now I'm preparing it for 3D, but uh, you can see this like like you said, this is like a tube with mm -hmm. uh, with a baby alien. Uh, like in the lab and we are planning to print it uh with clear resin glass part and uh we will place the baby alien inside and we will try to put water inside it so it looks like uh an experiment or, mm -hmm. or something like this this is the first time we are going to do this but if it works it will be really cool yeah, and what's the, what's the size that you're thinking for that? Oh, I I think the limit size would be the the uh, the glass because if the glass doesn't fit the print the printer area, mm. uh, it will be it would look bad if I had yeah, yeah. to separate it into parts. Yeah, there so it would be yeah, a so it very to... visible scene. Yeah, so it needs to fit on the on the printer bed with like yeah. a, in a single print, basically, right? Yeah. Or maybe I can do uh, like a, a detail here, a solid detail, like a seam. Uh, and like uh, if I do this, we can separate it in two pieces. But as I'm planning to fill it with water, 
yeah. and then steam would be dangerous to have like a, a leak or maybe yeah <laughs> let's see I, i'm just uh, at the moment i'm trying to think about the design later <laughs> i will plan better how to print it mm -hmm. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah Sells is asking for more content with Julia. Uh, I think Julia got quite a few fans after our, our last couple of videos with her. She skipped a couple of the, the videos because she was uh, a bit sick at the, at the like end of, end of December and beginning of January. Uh, but she's, she's back now. She's, she's fine. And she's, uh, there are definitely going to be more videos with her. Uh, Bob Ditz is asking, any plans to regularly include FDM-ready uh, files on initial release? For example, the modular control room, control room as one piece instead of several pieces. Uh, I think that's a, that's a definitely, maybe, it depends on the bundle, it depends on the, the model. I think we are trying to work towards there, but every extra thing that we... That we include or that we do, uh, it uh, it takes some time from the from our from our team, and we really really want to to like scale up production and make sure there are no delays in 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 delivering you the bundles to you guys. So it needs a it needs a little bit of planning uh, to we need a little bit of more planning to. To ramp up to the point where we're gonna be able to do that for like all of the the big models we are we have been trying to do for like the the models we know you guys are gonna ask about uh but yeah we're probably gonna get better about that with time uh let's see here what else do we have Yeah, I think we're winding now now, and I think this is it. I think we can finish up the the live stream now. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for sticking with us through through all of this and through all of our technical difficulties at the beginning. Uh, I, I really really hope you guys are ex as excited about this bundle as I am, uh, or and you know, see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, a lot, guys. Later. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys, for staying here with us. Bye-bye. So, yeah, see you around.